Howdy folks, another crazy episode at Coffee and Tools, and this week I'm 3D printing with a dryer, and we're also giving away a Wi-Fi booster, so I wonder how this is working out. It's warm, I don't know if it's drying it though. <sighs> yep, some people use this to actually cook food. Uh, ran around at some yard sales and found a, a dryer because I am having issues with the uh, with the 3D plastic uh, absorbing too much uh, humidity here in Texas. So, cool. Anyways, let's get to the important thing today. And let's give away that Wi-Fi, and then we're going to move on. Ta-da! Hey! <laughs> we finally got through this. Uh, this week has been interesting because the email box filled up with entries and what happened was it almost blew up and it, what I think happened was I think people shared the email with friends to help uh, in the drawing or something because we had more submitted uh, emails for addresses to win this thing than I had viewers so somebody explained that to me <laughs> and there was multiple entries which I at the end of my video I said you know, one entry per uh, household and of course it's just a rule so yeah they they broke the rules so i i gave um a set of numbers the same set of numbers in this case it will be over almost 1500 numbers but a set of numbers and then took a look at the drawing then we cruised through who's a subscriber who's a viewer who's not and we sort of narrowed that off a little bit because it's not fair really to be sharing the email out and then you don't even watch the show but you went ahead and you know applied so we went down through all that we narrowed, narrowed, narrowed until we got down to the tickets that we needed to draw. Then we drew the ticket, and the winner shocked me. Yeah, really shocking to us. It was, it was the person, uh, well, I won't say who it was, but we will say that uh, they live in uh, Florida. Okay. Yeah, the winner is in Florida, and the winner is uh, in Ocala. And I guess uh, they know who they are. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> There was a few Ocala entrants, but uh, this one's last name, should we get the last name, was the letter uh, D. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave it at that or something because uh, what a pile of paperwork to get through. And it's, it's all cool though, you know, it was, it was fun. And I'm just glad that uh, the person that uh, wants it is getting it apparently. So like, wow, well, that's kind of a win-win situation. The uh, next drawing which is not today, of course, but I mean the very next drawing, we have another freebie. Yep, the next one is gonna be this, uh, it's a Verizon hotspot. And if, you into, if you're into RVs or you move around a little bit, you need a hotspot or something like that, this is, this is a pretty good unit. It works well, I've had it for just about a month or so with some testing. And uh, this is a refurbished unit. I think it was around $150, $200 uh, unit. So it's, it's maybe more, I don't know. It, it's a nice unit. It's it's not something I'm, I'm you know, crazy about. We did, I uh, have to do a review on all these hotspots one of these days because we had quite a few of them. And I had the AT&T, the T-Mobile, the Sprint, and the Verizon machine here, all running at the same time virtually just to see who had what and, you know, what worked best. And it really comes down to, it depends on where you live, not, you know, who made the hotspot. So anyways, this one will be given away uh, on the next video. We'll set that up for a contest or something and we'll be giving out the hotspot. The uh, Wi-Fi has gone out today. It's already on its way to uh, the lucky winner in Ocala, Florida. So hey, congratulations to the person in Ocala, Florida <laughs> who, who got it. Wow, I don't know whether they're gonna just resell it or they're gonna use it. Who knows, don't care. It doesn't really matter to me at this point. We're just putting some stuff in the mail and mailing some out some gifts and uh, probably going to continue the sort of uh, something like this all the time. Uh, a few weeks ago we gave away a set of rails uh, for a uh, cross cut sled that was made on the 3D printer. We'll be probably doing some more flower matting like that too because uh, that's what I've been working with this uh, this week is uh, last week I went through yard sale found a, uh, a, a dryer for uh, veggies and fruit or whatever, and I'm using it to dry the plastic that I run through my 3D printer. And we sort of need to do some kind of review or talk about that because uh, there's a lot on the internet about getting these and doing that, but the thing is, is nobody's really saying, well, you know, turn the dryer on and leave it on there for an hour, 
two hours, 24 hours. There's, there's no instructions because I, I don't know if anybody's experimented with different times. Somebody like Maker's Muse or somebody out there in Australia, he would probably he would probably do something like that. I know him well enough. He would run times and see what's the best time to leave the thing in the dryer to get the humidity off the plastic, you know. But uh, yeah, next next time around, we're going to be doing this. It should come up, I don't know, next week. So meantime, in the meantime, uh, like I said, what we're doing here is I'm uh, working with the uh, 3D printer again this week and trying to get drawing. And uh, that's sort of what we were showing at the beginning here. And I'll just sort of, I'm gonna move you guys a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. There's the dryer. And I might even move you back a little bit too. So there's the dryer, uh, the new dryer. And uh, what I've been doing is drawing the, uh, the 3D uh, filament before it goes through the machine. But like I said, there's some questions, uh, you know, and there's, there's different dryers out there. What should you buy? You know, I just thought, you know what? When I see one at a yard sale, I'll buy it and I will try it. And I'm sure it's gotta be better than just uh, a whole, you know, it's gotta be better than just a whole, you know, bag full of silica. Uh, I threw some rice in there. Uh, this other one I've got over here, I threw cardboard in because uh, cardboard has a tendency to really suck up moisture. And I thought if you get enough cardboard packed around a, a you know one of these uh, 3D spools, maybe you know maybe you could you know get some of that moisture away from that plastic. That would be really cool. So that's an, another experiment. But the dryer they tell me works. My issue: how long do you leave it in there for? You know. So anyways, the uh, this is uh, this is uh, how many? I don't know. I've got four or five silicates in this thing. The little sacks for the for the drying plus the reel in here, and I am still having humidity issues. The other problem, of course, uh, with the dryer is, I realize, is, say you're gonna use the dryer for an hour. Well, you're gonna have to run that for an hour and then use the filament immediately because it's gonna start collecting moisture once it's out of that drying machine. So again, I think Maker's Muse did something where he had it, uh, pulled it out, and I think he had it up to a week or something where it, and it started to really, you know, uh, pull in the moisture again. So not a great thing, but you know, that's what we're working with. So drawing 3D printing uh, process, uh, I think somebody out there uh, in the big world, besides uh, Creality, or maybe Creality should do it. Somebody should build a box with a little light bulb, a little fan or something in there that dries this stuff out and sells it. Maybe there is something on the internet. I haven't seen anything for sale like that, but that would be uh, an item, a kit or something that you could buy to dry or help keep the moisture out of your 3D uh, filament. I think that'd be a, a pretty good product, tell you the truth. You got the idea here. Okay, so I need I need royalty. You know, if you're gonna use that idea, I need, I need some royalty off of that, okay. <laughs> So thank you guys. This is a short one this week because we're just doing the drawing, the, the send off, and thank you everyone that did uh, commit to trying to uh, win the Wi-Fi uh, booster. The uh, review was done, like I said, truthfully, honestly, that's what I got. Uh, a lot of people were very disappointed with that thing, but I was like, you know, yeah, it works sort of, but it's, uh, it's not really doing what I need, but it would probably work for somebody else. Uh, I can see some applications for it anyways, regardless, as an expander or ex a range extender. Back to 3D. So, thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and next video we're giving away a Verizon hotspot. Wow.